Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 18 iPhone tricks that will make your life easier. These are super useful tricks that you will probably use on a daily basis on your iPhone. Now another thing that's super useful is the subscribe button on this video. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed so make sure to do so that would really help out a lot and of course if you enjoy the video make sure to smash that like button because it will help a lot for this video and the channel to do much much better. Now let's get started with the first one. We're heading on to Safari right here. So anytime you're on Safari on a web page, and let's say you want to save that web page, that link on the notes app, or just add it to an existing note, what you gotta do, tap that little share button, tap on notes right here. Now what I can do is tap on save to, and instead of just saving that as a new note, I can go ahead and find one of the existing notes that I currently have and tap right there tap on save and now I have added that link to that existing note instead of just creating a new note. If you have a PDF file saved on your files app, you can edit that PDF file and you actually don't even need to have an extra app to do that. You can do a lot of things with the PDF viewer on iOS on the files app. So you open the PDF file and you can see the pages right there. All you have to do is just tap on that button and it will show all the pages here. What I can do here, let's say I want to rearrange pages, I want to just move this page right there at the top, all I have to do is just drag it around and I can place it all right there as easy as that. Or what I can do is tap on a page there, tap the three dots and from here I can just go ahead and rotate this page if I want to or insert another page. I can insert a blank page right here on this PDF file. You can see I have now the markup tool right there. If I wanna write something, maybe like a note or something like that, I can scan a page and actually place it right here on this PDF file directly from the camera here, or I can insert a file from another PDF from the files app. That's how easy it is to actually edit any PDF file that you have. And of course, you will also have the ability to actually delete a page from the PDF file as easy as that. While on Safari, if you're on the website and let's say you have another link here like this link to learn more, what I can do here is just drag actually this link and tap right there on the tabs view and then just release it right there and just like that, I have created a new tab as easy as that on Safari without having to actually use the 3D touch menu at all and that's pretty, pretty cool. Now Safari, interestingly enough, it has more features when you're on the landscape mode on the tabs view. Now here on the tabs view, if you want to rearrange your tabs, you can do that manually simply by moving the tab. So let's just drag a tab like this and I can move it around, place it anywhere I want. That way I can rearrange the tabs. But if you use Safari on the landscape mode, then it works on another way. So if I just go to the landscape mode right here, what I can do is just tap and hold one of the tabs. Now I will have the ability to actually rearrange these tabs. I can rearrange them by website or by the title of the tab. And let's say you have a few tabs open here. Here's another very useful trick. I can 3D touch on any tab that I actually want to save and close all the other tabs directly from here. If you have a contact on your iPhone, to which of course you have the number for their FaceTime, what you can do is actually make a voice call through FaceTime and that will be way better quality than a traditional voice, voice call that you do through the phone app. Now you can do that simply by going to the contacts card or if you're using the widget of a contact, you just tap on it. You can see here you have FaceTime video and FaceTime voice. So if you do a FaceTime voice call, you will get way better quality than of course you would get with a normal phone call that, would, that you would do through your phone number. So if you just wanna have great qual call quality, if you just maybe like on a conference or just need to have that better quality, make sure you always go ahead and do a FaceTime voice call, of course, if you don't wanna do it with a video. Here we have two pretty cool screenshot tricks that I don't think you know about. So you take a screenshot and let's say we want to point out something here, of course, we can just go ahead and add the magnifier here, probably know about this. You can change its size and you can change the zoom here. So let's just do the FaceTime here. Do you know that you can actually change the color of that border from here? You can also tap here to change the size of the border, just like that. But what you can do else, just tap 
on the plus button right here you can tap on opacity and what you can do right now is add this opacity that layer right there on the background and you can see how it blur it will blur out the rest of the screenshot and we'll just leave this one right here in focus and you can see how good that looks here's a pretty cool screenshot trick that i believe most of you guys have never heard about so you take a screenshot and let's say you want to type something here or just want to basically like do something so here we have maybe a circle we have a triangle right there now you want to delete these what you can do is of course use the eraser and we can go ahead and delete this like this but it gets even better and you can use this feature anywhere where you can use the markup tool whether that's a photo screenshot a pdf anywhere you want to use the markup tool you will be able to use this feature as well so on the eraser don't tap once tap twice and you will get this pop-up right here you can select the object eraser so what you do tap on an object like this and you will be able to delete it so you can see any object that you basically type you write something here you can just select this and just like that you can delete it completely without having to use the manual eraser here we have another one for the screenshot so this one is pretty cool as well so you will have here the markup tools you write something but it's not on the right place we want to move this right here but i don't want to go back and delete it and then write a new one you can see this tool right here just here before the ruler all you have to do is just circle around the object and you can see it will automatically select it and i can now go ahead and move this object that i have written before anywhere i want as easy as that this is a pretty cool tool that of course is very useful but i just found out about it a few days ago it's actually super super useful on your ios device whenever you need to have two of the same photos basically duplicate a photo there is a very very easy way to do that you can not actually use the copy and paste feature within the photos app but what you can do is tap on a photo tap on the little share button and right here you will find a button to actually duplicate that photo so let's say you want to maybe edit a photo and save the original version as well you can simply go ahead and edit that photo and you will have it just like that as easy as that you of course know that on the emoji keyboard you can search for emojis so let's just search here for something so so let's just search for a hand and you can see right here we have all the different emojis so you want to use one you just tap on it but you can see it will just show them on the default yellow color but what if you want to use another color all you have to do is just tap and hold the result right there and you can see now it shows you all the different results you can go ahead and of course use any one of them you want Here's another really cool one. So you're on your keyboard here on iOS and let's say you want to use the numbers. You go here, you have to go back here to type something. What you can do is actually just tap and hold here, go to the number release and it will take you right back to the letters here. As easy as that, you can actually use the letters with and of course the numbers without having to switch back and forth between the keyboards iMessage app has a really cool new feature that lets you just drag a message and resend it to someone if you want to. So let's say here I have some previous messages that I want to resend to, to the same contact. All I have to do is just drag that message, place it here and of course I can go ahead and send that message back as easy as that pretty useful on iMessage if you tap on the contact you will see right here anything you need about that that contact and right here can choose whether you want to share the focus status with that contact as well so once you have enabled a focus status on ios 15 your contacts will know that but if you just want to block that from any of your contacts just go to their profile basically at the top of the conversation you're having with that person and you can disable this so they won't know your focus status the easiest way to copy and paste a photo you can use this trick to maybe send quickly a photo on an email on an iMessage or maybe save it on a note or anywhere you want on iOS just pinch in here on a photo you have that copied go to the app where you want to paste it pinch out as easy as that you can paste a photo on any of your apps from the photos app 
The Spotlight Search has an amazing ability that the Photos app doesn't have. It allows us to search photos based on the text that's on that photo. This will be very, very useful if you're trying to maybe find a screenshot you need. You can just search for text that's on that screenshot. You can see right here it says text found in photos and you will actually be able to find the exact photo that you need. This unfortunately won't work within the search bar on the photos app if you try it it won't work but it will work from the spotlight search and in my opinion this will be super super useful and last but not least when you go to edit your pages on the home page edit screen here you can see that we have three pages and i can of course enable disable any page i want here but if i tap there it will take me back to the last page where i was but let's say i want to go here to take a look at an app i can just tap there so instead of just tapping or just swiping up to go back to the home and it will take you to the same page you can just tap on any page you want to go there and it will take you quickly to that page so that is it for this video guys thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed all these cool tricks that you will probably find very very useful and use most of them on daily basis on your iphone make sure to subscribe for more videos also leave a like on this one if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next one